Does your bubble app use OpenAI? And do you wish that your users could listen to the response from the AI? Well, thanks to a series of updates over the last few weeks, beginning with the real-time API, but mainly focusing down on the fact that you can now have audio inputs and outputs as part of the chat completion API, you can now do that. Uh, so let me just show you what we can end up with. It's really quick, it's really simple. Similar setup if you've used any chat completion with OpenAI before. We take uh, some text and we send it over and we're going to get a response and it's gonna auto play the response in our little uh, HTML5. Yes, five. golden retrievers are known for being excellent family dogs. They are friendly. It's gonna play back in our HTML5 uh, embed, a uh, bit of code on the page. Let me show you how I've gone about this. Well, the first bit is really quite simple. I'm gonna go into plugins, API connector, scroll all the way down. Uh, so here's the setup, but before I dive into it, you're watching this video because you want to launch a startup with Bubble or you're learning Bubble, well, there's no better place to accelerate that journey than head over to planetnoco.com. There is a link down in the description because you can get access to hundreds of videos just like this one where we dive into the detail of building amazing apps with Bubble. Right, here we are. So uh, similar setup uh, to any other API call that you'd make to OpenAI. I've got my private key and header, my private key there. Uh, and then this, down to this point here, it's, it's all the same as if you were just doing text in, text out with the OpenAI API. Now here's where it gets a little bit different. And the place that I'm looking for reference is uh, in the OpenAI documentation. Instead of text generation, we're in audio generation and uh, I'm on audio uh, output from model. So it's saying a text input, but an audio output. Uh, once I put that into the Bobble API connector, set it up as post, set it up as an action, make sure it's JSON, uh, paste in the right bits, make sure I've got no JSON syntax errors. Uh, and then just like any other chat completion demo that we've done on this channel, uh, you, you put in the message here, we remove the speech marks because we're gonna JSON save all of the content. But effectively it's saying that here's the user's message, but respond using the Alloy, Aloy voice in the format of MP3. And also notice that this is using a preview model. This is very recent, very recent updates they've made to their API. So in practice on the page, once you've initialized that, remember you will need to just put a message in there, something like test uh, in order to initialize it. Remember to put the speech marks back in. But what this looks like on the page uh, is my uh, multi-line input my button and then here's where I thought I'd need to use a plugin but I searched the bubble forums and I found that actually you can, don't know if this is technically the right term, but you can decode base64. Ah yes, because, sorry, jumping around a bit here, if I go back to plugins and I initialize, uh, and so I put in here uh, what day is it. Um, if you initialize, you don't actually get an mp3 file back. You get back mp3 in base64 and what that means is basically a text ex string expression of a file and it's just gonna it's really long in fact if we go to edit here you can just see I mean that's the characters it takes to respond uh, to my message of what day is it uh, so we have to change that back into an mp3 file and you can do that using this bit of code here so this is just a normal audio player. Uh, I've said show controls, I've said autoplay, and then you put this bit in comma, and then you put in the text that you're getting out of that field. Uh, so let me show you how I'm doing that. Button is clicked, I run my API call, remember to format it as JSON safe, I reset my inputs, and then I'm setting a state. I'm taking the message audio, that's the big long string of text, and I'm saving it to a custom state. And then uh, with the audio player here, I'm retrieving the custom state audio to GPT. That's just the name of my page. That's where I've put my custom state uh, just in there. Uh, and uh, I literally asked ChatGPT to write this for me, uh, but you can copy the code here. Uh, and then that gives you uh, the audio player and it will play it back for you. So there you go, that's all you need. Uh, in order to have a user enter text into your app, yet a GPT-like response and have it play back as audio.